Hello, hello, and welcome to Adam with Lucas. So today we're going to be talking about the Smart True, and in particular, we're talking about their SC93 weather station. Yes, people, this is a weather station for your home. It can mount on the wall. You can put it up on a bookshelf. You could put it on a desk, wherever you want to put it. It has multiple ways to be seen. But does it actually have a quality display? Is it actually something you're going to want to buy and put in your house? Will it tell you accurate weather? I'm going to figure out all that and more so you don't waste your time buying or returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so up at the top left corner, you have Smart Tro. That's kind of cool. There's their little logo right there. There is an image of what's to come in the box. This is the SC93 wireless weather station, people. That is what's up. Continue around the box. Okay, more of the same. Here are some of the features. Pause it if you want to read it. Oh, that is very clean. I like the way that they box this up. Very nice. Definitely gonna wanna read through the instruction manual. You got your proprietary charging power cable. You got your outdoor unit right here. And then you got your creme de la creme, people. Whoa! All right. Very nice looking. That almost looks like a solar panel right there. That's really cool. I like that. All right. This has got a lot going on. Let's go ahead and walk around this. You got their name right there on the front. This is your display. Up on the top, this might be a capacitive touch button right there. You got your Z's and your brightness. Come around to the side over here. You have a bunch of different clicky buttons right here running all up and down. And then on the back, you have a USB port, a power port. It looks like you have two independent legs that stick out that kind of hold into place. It's a little funky. I'm guessing they're expecting you to put this on the wall. There's how you hang it on the wall. And this is where you're going to add your two AA batteries. The sensor also takes two AA batteries. Okay, let's talk about build quality. So this thing feels like it's built nice. Um, it's, it's pretty sturdy when I go to flex it around. It's not really flexing and moving. Uh, definitely not something you're going to want to drop. So definitely keep this securely on the wall or definitely have it in a place where your kids can't get it and knock it over. Decent plastic though, I will admit this is nice feeling plastic. You have small bezels around the front. I like how it's in a landscape mode, 16 by 9. That's really cool. Yeah, so first impressions, this thing is decent. Um, it's definitely going to be my weather station from the... From, from this point on so i'm really excited about that uh yeah so coming up we're gonna power this beast up and see what happens okay let's go ahead and talk about this display real quick so this display is really nice it has a readout of the internal temperature of wherever this device is at it has the external temperature where you have to put in the batteries to the little device that comes with it and it'll tell you the outside temperature as well as the outside humidity and the inside humidity. It'll also give you a little smiley face over here for comfort zone and you'll have alerts over here. This portion is kind of funny because this is all preset. So it says it's raining right now, but if I look outside, it's not raining at all. So this is all presets based on the city that you're in. And if you don't have, if it doesn't have information on your city, then you have to pick the closest city that it has information on. So it's kind of silly in that form right there. So you're basically going to get humidity, temperature, humidity, temperature. You're gonna get a uh, ability to see the time and set alarms, but that's basically it. So this does not, it's not a smart display. It's a very simple display with color readout. So if you just need to know what the temperature is in the room, humidity and whatnot, this is great. This portion right here, I think they could easily phase out with another, with the next generation. I think that's kind of silly and very, very old school. They could easily just throw in some Wi-Fi and make this really accurate. That would also be really awesome. You got the moon phase down here and some other barometer stuff over here. And then you also have sunrise, sunset. So this is when it's going to set and that's when the sun is gonna rise right there. So that's kind of nice to see but other than that yeah this is basically what you're gonna get 
Okay, let's talk about the brightness of this thing. So the brightness button is right here at the top and all you have to do is click it and it begins to drop in brightness. And you can see it goes completely off. So that's backlight off, which is almost impossible to view, which is great for sleeping. And then when you press it again, it goes to brightness number four. So it starts off on the brightest and then it drops itself down. And on the brightest brightness, it is decent, but when there's full sun in a room, it's very hard to read this. Okay, let's take a quick minute and talk about the viewing angles. So this thing has quite terrible viewing angles. As you can see, when we start to turn the camera towards the angle, that's actually not my camera picking up the image incorrectly. That's the viewing angles not working as they should. And then if we look down and then look up. So it's basically, if you're looking at it straight on like this, it's gonna be the best. And then from a distance, it starts to wash out. So that is something that if you are gonna be viewing this from multiple angles in a room, you definitely need to know that the viewing angles are not the best. Okay, this is on the lowest brightness setting and it actually looks the best, I think, on the lowest setting. So if you have this in a dark room, it gets pretty freaking dim. You can see this room is very dark right now and it actually looks really, really good. So I have to give them an applause and then you could drop it one more to off. Then that's full brightness. There you go, I think that looks the best. So if you had this in a darker room, you're golden. Okay, so this thing is actually really cool. It has a really nice display that reads out the temperature and the humidity. They say to put this outdoors in no sun, no direct sunlight. So find a spot in your backyard or wherever you're putting it where it has zero sunlight throughout the day. Luckily, I have one spot in my backyard and you also wanna make sure it has coverage from rain and whatnot. So those are the two most crucial things. No direct sunlight and no ability for rain to just drip straight down on it. It is a little bit, uh, odd the shape of it and it can definitely topple over really easily the stand on the bottom is kind of silly uh so it you know it, but it does have the ability to mount so you could put a screw or a thumbtack and just stick this straight onto something but yeah it definitely does its job the readout is very very accurate it's obviously not 41 degrees in this house right now this was outside but yeah it definitely does its job i like the readout very simple very straightforward and this thing has a really good range. So this is probably 50 feet when it's in my backyard from the loft upstairs. Okay, this thing can also become an alarm clock. So there's a button right here. If you press it, you can go ahead and set a first alarm and a second alarm. go so this thing can be on your bedside table as a full-blown alarm clock so it really is trying to do a little bit more than just be a weather station you could also use it for an alarm clock if you're working at your desk and you want it to go off at a certain time to sort of remind you of things um, so that's really cool it does have more features than just a simple weather station Okay, so I've been using this thing for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review. And let's just start off with the most important part, the display. So the display is decent, but it is really, really bad once you start to get into uh, different angles and you start to move around. You'll notice that it gets completely washed out like old school 
phones used to. So that's definitely a downfall if you're someone who is looking for a visually stunning display, you're probably gonna wanna skip this one entirely and go with something else. The fact that it doesn't have smart display technology, it only has built-in memory and built-in information, that really is a downfall in 2023. I wish this thing had Wi-Fi so you could get accurate weather. That would be really cool. But other than that, this thing definitely does its job. The temperature is really, really accurate. I've compared it to my Ecobee temperature uh, sensor, which is actually right here. And this thing, I've compared this to a bunch of other thermometers. So I know that that thing is accurate. So this is very, very accurate. The humidity is also accurate if I ask my devices what the humidity is it'll tell me it's roughly around that and i've done that day in and day out so outside temperature is accurate humidity is accurate uh, the time seems to be holding really solid some of these devices will uh, lose maybe a minute here or there and they'll start to be off but this one counts down the seconds so you can actually get it precisely set up i really like the fact you can do the sunrise sunset so you can just glance over here and know when the sun is gonna rise and when the sun's gonna set. But like I said, the viewing angles are where it really just fails. Um, so it's one of those things where if you're using this as an alarm clock on your bedside table and you wanna wake up and just get a glance of the temperature, then this thing is great. But like I said, if you're picky about your displays, this one is gonna be a skip for you for sure. I did try to hang it on the wall and I found that this thing is kind of a gimmick. It does not hang on the wall well, mainly because of the cord back here sticks out and it causes this whole thing to basically sit on the wall at an angle. So it'll sit down to the right and it's really, really bad. I don't know why they would do that, but the kickstands on the back do their job. So for me, this is going to live on my desk. So let's give this thing a star rating. I'm gonna give it a 3.9 out of five stars. Uh, I'm gonna say that it really comes down to the viewing angles. If they can fix the viewing angles on the next gen, I'll give it a higher star rating. But as of right now, you're basically buying a display and the display is only half good. You have to be looking straight at it. And if the room gets too bright, it's almost impossible to view it at any angle other than this straight on angle. Literally, if I move up or down, it just starts to lose its visibility. So they need to fix that ASAP. But um, all the tech inside of here is doing its job. I really like that, I applaud them for that. But can't give it anything higher than a 3.9. I will recommend it to people who aren't picky about their displays and maybe they're maybe you're gonna put this in your garage or in a shed or something. You're not really worried about the display and how well it looks. You just need to know the readouts really quickly. And these are very big and bold readouts. So if you're walking into a garage, you're gonna be able to see that really fast and that's gonna be really nice. But for now, until they can update that display, I can't give them anything more, um, but yeah. Buy it if everything I said didn't scare you off. <laughs>All right, there you go. That's the Smart Tarot Weather Station. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 5K. What, what? On my way to 6K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.